Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy and so glad that you decided to join me here once again. It's uh, one of those days where we have lots of things to do and we want to start our day off by thanking our Father for uh, waking us up this morning. We thank you, Father, for waking us up. We um, are happy. We are joyful. And we are here today because we are ready to serve you. Okay, if you're new here, please take a minute to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would very much appreciate it, okay? Now, let's get started. I wanted to do a video today about how we are allowing hurt people to hurt us. Now, it's very important that we talk about this because I've, I've learned this. I had a, a, a right in the middle and it has affected me and I have to talk about it. Remember, I only talk about things that affect me or I know something about. And what I do know is hurt people tend to hurt you. So I wanted to talk about my my life story, something that happened to me and how I will apply it to today's uh, conversation. I am a divorced mother of three. Now, when I was going through my divorce, I had a lot of people in my ear telling me, you should do this, you should do that, you should get a lawyer, you should do that and that. And I have always been this type of person. I'm not going to beg you. I'm not going to go fighting back and forth, uh, uh, fighting back and forth. And it was a really tough time. Again, I was uh, getting out of depression, getting my life back, had to move, had to establish myself. And I was running into a lot of people who were uh, quick to give me opinions and to tell me what I should be doing. And I, I think I was pretty good at ducking and weaving and deciding what I thought was important and what I thought would help my situation. But a lot of things went over my head at the time. But now that I'm, uh, you know, much stronger and much wiser, I know now that a lot of people back then were just was steering me in the wrong direction because their life was miserable. And so they wanted mine to be as miserable as theirs. And again, hurt people will hurt you because they don't, they don't know nothing better. So you have to be really careful about who you let in your circle, who you like let be surrounded by you. That's why I have very few friends because I can't I can't handle all that. Because first of all, at the age of 52, I'm pretty much saying how I feel. Okay? Your feelings could come later. I I, I don't know. But I pretty much say how I feel. So I really don't have the patience or the time for people who try, try to come up into my space and spew their negativity and toxicity. I just don't have the time for it. But you, my friend, have to be aware of those type of people and be quick to respond because if not, then it oozes into your positive day. Now, when we wake up every day, we say, thank you, Father, for letting us live just one more day. We go out with a positive attitude. We treat people with kindness and respect. And we expect those things back in return. But you have to remember that everybody do not have your goodwill and your well-being in their heart. They don't care about you. And, you know, that might be rough for some people to hear, but it's, it's necessary because you need to hear it. You need to say, okay, I have to put up my blocks. I have to prepare myself. You have to. You have to because look at what's going on in the news. Every time you turn on the TV, it's something negative. Something's going on out there. So you don't need that in your house, in your space. So if you allow people with all that negativity and all their baggage to come over to your place where you're trying to be zen and positive and have some sort of peace, then you are allowing you are choosing to allow those hurt people to come into your space and give away all of their hurt and all of their negativity. 
That's it. That's all I want to tell you. It's, it's really quick to say because a lot of you really don't think about that. And I know I never did, but I've had it front and center happen to me. And I'm telling you, you know, it's not, no, no, not going to happen because I see you a mile away. And when once you see it, you become like, you can, you see it like a mile away. You figure it out and you don't allow it. So that's where I want you to be. That's what we do here. We look for solutions. We look, we are positive here. We are not negative people. So we don't want that negativity to spoo into what we got planned each day. So if you see somebody who is trying to be your friend, trying to get inside, trying to access your positivity, then you have to put your guard up. You have to decide, you know, what you are willing to allow in your space. And at the age of 52, I am not willing to give up my peace. I have fought way, 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 way too hard to have this peace that I have in this apartment, in this space, in this time of my life, in this chapter. And I have a really great relationship with not one, not two, but all three of my children. And they check on me. They want to know if I'm doing okay. And that's all that really matters. My little family is me and my three children. And then that extends to my sister, Juanita. And I love her and her kids. And now she has a grandbaby and a, a great grandbaby on the way. Okay. So we'll say she older than me. Okay. Seriously, back to topic. So I'm happy. I'm joyful. I have a lot of good things going on. So why would I allow somebody to come and try to mess up all of that goodness? So today I want you to be, be mindful of people who try to come in and steal your joy. If you're happy and joyful and somebody is always saying, oh, that's not so good, or oh, you don't need to do that, or oh, that's not good, then that's a lot of negativity. I, I said like three negative things right in a row. You have to just send that person on their way. Send them out to the store for a bag of sugar or something. I don't know. Send, just, just send them out. Send them out. And um, let them go on where they're going and give them their space. And then eventually, you know, just weed them out. That's all I'm saying. Simple reminder. Hurt people hurt people. Okay? Hurt people want to destroy the goodness that they see in you. All right. So let's breathe in and breathe out. And remember that today as you head out. Okay? Breathe in and breathe out. We thank you, Father. We're going to have a good day because we're not going to allow any hurt people to walk up into our space. Remember that. You are beautiful and you deserve this peace that you work so hard to get. I love you. God loves you. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.